Hi, my name is Andrew. Today I'd like to teach you how to find the molar mass of iron to chloride. So let's take a look at how to do this. I created a simple little table. Bam, so the first thing we're gonna do is write down the elements that we see in the compound, right? So we see iron Fe and we see chlorine Cl. Next is then to write down the number of atoms of each and that's where the subscripts come into play. So at the bottom of uh, iron, there's an invisible one. So that means there's one iron. At the bottom of chlorine, there's a two. So that two tells us that there are two atoms of chlorine. Next, we're gonna multiply by the mass of the element. These masses are found on the periodic table. Let's take a look. Iron's mass is 55.85 and chlorine is 35.45, right? So we're going to write those in. So 55.85 for iron and then chlorine is 35.45. I don't even know. My writing is getting worse and worse. Shouldn't it get better the more you practice? Well, I guess not. So to find the total mass of the element, we're simply going to multiply this row and across. So the total mass of iron here is going to be 55.85. And then the total mass of chlorine, when we multiply those two together, is going to be 70.90. To find then the total mass of the entire compound, it's very simple. Just add up this column now, and that works out to be 126.75. Since we're solving for molar mass, the units are in grams per mole. And now you know how to find the molar mass of iron 2 chloride. Thank you so very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. If you can, help us out, like, and subscribe, and check out some more of our videos. We've got thousands of videos out there. I mean, uh, chemistry, physics, uh, we got mathematics, we got organic chemistry, we got biology, we got statistics coming out, we got a whole bunch of stuff. Take care.